I am Samaya. I'm and Yusuf Omar. Thank you, Yusuf. Um, I am a Thompson Foundation contributor. I haven't been live for a long time now because Yusuf and I have been traveling a lot. Um, we went to 26 countries over the last three and a half months, training communities around the world how to tell stories using their mobile phones. Yeah, we've just gotten back from our 26th country, which was Palestine. But now we are in sunny Durban, South Africa. This is my hometown where I'm from. I'm going to, we are so happy to be speaking to you guys today. Um, we're going to be speaking about Facebook page growth hacks. So Yusuf and I, like Yusuf said, we traveled to 26 countries over the last three months. Um, last week, we had a phenomenal week. We posted a video, which ended up getting, now is on 2.1 million views. Yusuf's page likes, follows or likes? Likes. Likes um, increased by like threefold. He's now, he was on 7,000. He's now on like 24,000, um, which is phenomenal growth. So we want to talk to you guys about um, what happened, what we think um, contributed to this um, sudden increase and how you guys can use some of these growth hacks to increase um, likes and engagement and reach on your pages. So basically, if you see, this is uh, Yusuf's page statistics and insights for the last 28 days. You'll see that his page likes went up 1,561%, which is amazing from the 11th of Jan to the 7th of Feb. Um, he had, and page likes are basically someone clicking on, on like on your page. Um, his reach was 5,400,000 um, and that went up 3,400%. And um, Reach is basically how many timelines you're hitting with your videos or with your content, um, which brings me to videos. So we had a total of 2,187,000 um, total video views from the 11th of Jan to the 7th of Feb, uh, an increase of 2,593%. So this is all phenomenal. We're super excited. Uh, what we're most interested in is this stat right here, post engagements. Uh, post engagements went up basically 2000% and we hit 1 million uh, post engagements. And this means the likes, the uh, shares, the comments, um, reactions, all of that. So that's all the stuff that Facebook is basically basically prioritizing. Um, and that's this, this is basically what creates those conversations. And that's what we want. We're not too interested we like the likes and we like the the reach and the and the views, but we're very interested in what our engagement statistics look like. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, speak to Yusuf now. Yusuf, you can tell us some of the. I think he has five Facebook page growth hacks that he can share with us on how um, he reached this amazing um, growth. Yeah, so how do we triple our audience in one week? The first thing we do is we invite people, inviting people to like our page. You can't be ashamed of it. You've just got to do it. And I'll give you an example of what that means to exactly uh, invite somebody to like your page. So if I open this up right now and I take Facebook full screen, um, I'm going to jump into this app over here. So right now I'm in Yusuf Omar's uh, Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash journalism in action. And on the right here, you will see that there is the uh, tabs that show you how many likes you've got and all that kind of stuff. And then you've got the invite friends tab. And if you click on that on a um, mobile phone, you've got the option to click, 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 click. And obviously you can see all my friends here have liked my page. If you're on a desktop, you have the option to invite all. So I've done them all, but you can go select all and invite all. And in one go, you can hit send invitations and send out thousands of invitations for somebody to like your uh, page. So just to give an example, I'll get them to, I'll go to one of our new pages that uh, I haven't had that boost yet. Say hashtag our SA, which is our new South African platform. I'm gonna go down to invite friends. Um, I'm gonna say select all. So these are all of Samaya's friends. Uh, and there's 882 people here. And I'm gonna say, send invitations and all of those people will get an invitation to like the page uh it's a really 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 quick way to little growth hack another useful tip that uh, a lot of people don't know about this is one of the best ways that i've seen uh to grow a social media audience uh especially for the first ten thousand people this is about 
What does effectively a like do uh, or a reaction to your video? It does many things. One of it is it gives your uh, audience, basically is giving permission to that publisher that whenever they write anything in the comment section or update that story, they get a little push notification to say, hey, this person, Yusuf Omar is commenting on a video that you liked. But one of the things that people don't tell you about the like and one of the most interesting applications that I've seen to be able to grow your audience is every single person that likes your page can effectively be boosted to, uh, sorry, can effectively be asked, can be invited to like your page. Anybody who watches one of your video and reacts to your video can be invited to like your page. So if I watch your video and I hit the like button, it then gives the content creator the option to say, hey, I want to invite everybody who's liked my content. And there's a pretty good chance if they've already liked your video that they're going to end up going on to like your page. So let's show you how to do that. If we go to one of our pages and just say I go to hashtag South Asia, which is one of our big pages, facebook.com forward slash hashtag South Asia. Um, and I'm going to jump into that any second now. And once I'm in that page, I'm in hashtag South Asia now, I'm going to go down to one of my posts that have performed well. that has got lots of reactions and lots of likes and all those kinds of things. Um, Got an interesting comment uh, from, from Craig Fox, who's a good influencer, a great friend of mine. A like reaction helps organic growth also, so make sure people like a post is super important. Absolutely, Craig. Uh, couldn't have said it better myself. You're absolutely right. So I'm going to go down to one of these posts that have, have received a lot of love. Uh, just say this one's got 30 uh, people who have liked it. And I'm going to click on those likes, and it's going to open up a box like this. It then has these little tabs, which are then – so. Muez, for example, Ula, uh, who runs a, another platform called Batkalis, he has uh, reacted with a like to this post, but he doesn't like the page. So now I'm going to hit the invite button, and I'm going to encourage him to like the page. And now everybody in that group, I've already done that too. Uh, and I can go on to another video. So this is another video right here. There's been 66 reactions. I can go through those and invite people to like the page. You gotta be very, very careful when you're doing this. It, Facebook quickly recognizes if you have behavior that looks like a robot, and it will literally chuck you out. It'll say, hey, you've invited too many people to like your page too quickly, your behavior is suspicious. So what I try and do is I try and like, like invite one, skip one, invite one, skip one. You've gotta take that quite slow and organic because you, you can get booted out and it's un unfortunate. Uh, it's an amazing little trick that invites on uh, people who have reacted to your videos, but it only lasts for the first 10,000. It's like what we call the easy likes. Is it me or my sunglasses bent? They're bent, aren't they? They just look a little bit crooked. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. I think that's just your face. My face is a little bit crooked. Uh, yeah, so that's the, like, that's the invite feature, and that is absolutely a massive, massive, massive growth hack scenario. Uh, the next thing we're going to be talking about, and this is Facebook's best kept secret, it's the it's the cross post. Yes. Okay. So cross posting. What does cross posting do? So cross posting enables one page to allow or give a permission to another page to cross post the video, which means that the video looks like it was organically posted by that page. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what that means. So if I go into Facebook. Um, and say if I'm on hashtag South Asia and I go to settings, I go to, you'll see there's an option cross posting. And here you can see that hashtag South Asia has allowed hashtag Palestine, hashtag our essay, use of Omar, hashtag our stories and butkalis.com to cross post videos and you can see cross posting is a way to share videos across multiple pages cross posting can only happen between pages that have added each other you control which videos you want to cross post when a page cross posts your videos they will be able to view video insights for their posts okay so basically we've enabled all of these pages to be able to cross post videos oops sorry um so this means that i'm giving the page permission to cross post in general but every time i upload a you know, every time I have a video, I then enable that video specifically to be cross-posted. So I don't have all my views cross-posted. For example, I go to my page. So I'm going to hashtag South Asia. Um, I go to videos. Oops. 
I go to video library. Ah, uh, can you hear us? Someone is saying it's okay. Is it good? Okay. So you go to video library. Um, and see, this is the last a video that we posted diving in the Andaman Islands. So I go to edit there and then you can see the option called cross posting and I can choose which pages I want uh, this video to be cross posted to. It's then up to that page whether they want to cross post it or not, but I've given them a permission to cross post it. So what does the cross posting look like once it's done? Sorry. Uh, on the other side when you get to page, that's, that's you see yeah. Pages. Okay. So I'm going to go to you. Actually, I'm going to go to hashtag our stories. So yesterday I cross posted the, the video for the diving in Andaman Islands. This is what it looks like. It doesn't say hashtag our story shared the video. It looks like an organic post. Um, it will show you if you go to the views here, it will show you exactly where the views came from, where they came from this post, where they came from your original post. Um, you can cross post to as many pages that you want. Um, and it's really awesome because it just makes your, your reach that much bigger across all of your pages. You can find that cross -posting videos. I just did. Okay, cool. Yep. We just did that. Um, okay. So there's some comments. Uh, from Craig, best thing is to reach out to pages with similar content and set up a, exactly. So you want you want pages that have share similar value than you or um, have similar content, and those are the types of pages that you want to cross post to. Uh, also, same as Instagram, set up an engagement group with your close friends and family to like, comment on your new content. Organic growth again. Yes, exactly. Craig Fox, amazing tips. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so that's basically cross posting um, for us. Our strategy has always been about not having one uh, big page where we post everything, um, but having smaller pages where we have really niche hyper local content. For example, hashtag South Asia is our South Asian audience. Hashtag Palestine is a specific to Palestine. Our hashtag our essay, which is a South African audience. Um, and so by using cross posting, it allows us to uh, change the headlines and basically change the angles of how we want to uh, frame the story for that particular audience. Um, and so, yeah, it really increases that uh, reach for us and it's worked out really amazingly, especially for this amazing growth that, that we've seen in the last month or so. Yeah, so we've talked about inviting people to like your page. We've talked about inviting people who have reacted to a video to like your page. We've also spoken about cross posting. We're now going to talk about the most important word, the big S, and that is shares. I've been spending the whole time on Samaya's talking. I've been sharing on various platforms. When you create an amazing piece of content, I, the first thing I do is I share it on my other pages, on my profile. I share, share, share. But it's also important to look at other places to share. Uh, I go through Messenger, and I share to all of my contacts. I'll literally go to each person, write an individual little comment. I'll be like, hey, Craig, just made this video. You might like it. Obviously give them a line that refers to something that they are uh, interested in. So sharing your content in Facebook Messenger is very important without being spammy. I think the next place is to look at groups. You've got to look at big, big Facebook groups. We did a piece in Palestine the other day on gaming. It went mad. It traveled so far on the internet because there's so many dedicated gaming groups online. Uh, people that we know already will be interested. Uh, so it's a very, very important to join lots of Facebook groups. Uh, even if they don't necessarily align with your political values or your cultural values, um, some news organizations advise their reporters not to join Facebook groups because it shows that they are sort of leaning in one direction. I don't believe that at all. I believe groups are a way of disseminating content, not necessarily an allegiance of your interests or your passions. Uh, so Facebook groups are a great way to share your stuff. Um, also, I guess it allows you to um, like make that to like bust the filter bubble bubble a little bit, right? Because you are seeding content that people might not necessarily agree with, but it's an, uh, another perspective on a, on a story. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my friend, uh, Mr. Valinga asked a fantastic question. Do you try and build a local audience or a global one? Brilliant question. And the way we're going to answer that is by showing you our accounts. So if we go to Samaya's uh, listing here, 
uh, you can see we've got hashtag Palestine, hashtag our, our South Africa, Australia, South Asia, Sri Lanka. Um, so in answer to that question, we really focus on hyper-local content. We believe that the person in India doesn't necessarily care about the bridge that's fallen down in Australia. Uh, so we're focusing on hyper-local, uh, but at the same time also global. Finding global best practices or case studies or local case studies that apply to a global audience. So if you find a fridge in India where the community are putting food for, for the poor and somebody in China can learn from that, that's a fantastic example of a local angle with a global appeal. And really that's what you want if you want viral video. You want uh, the world to share it. Yeah, and at the, I guess at the intersection of community journalism and solution storytelling, it's a good place to be able to have that, the hyper-local content, but that really will attract a global audience. Yeah. So we've talked about invites, talked about cross-posting. We're on the topic of sharing. We mentioned Facebook Messenger. We mentioned groups. The next thing I'm talking about is building that sharing strategy into your content. We often create a piece of video and then we're like, oh, how am I going to make it viral? How am I going to share it? Instead of that, 50% of our conversation before we even edit the video, before we even shoot it, is which Facebook groups are going to share this? Mayor's often asking me, what's the headline of this going to be on Facebook? We really want to know what that angle is well in advance. And that makes for more shareable content. A great, another quest, great question from Vita is, always in English or in the local language? Fantastic question. Yeah. And it speaks exactly to what we're doing right here in South Africa. Uh, we started hashtag RSA and our long-term objective is to tell news in all 11 official South African yeah. languages. Nelson Mandela said, if you speak to a man in a, if you speak to a, man in a language he understands, that goes to his head. But if you speak to him in his language, that goes to his heart. My Nelson Mandela impression. But he speaks about the idea if you speak to a man in a language he understands, that goes to his head. If you speak to him in his language, that goes to his heart. We see a huge, huge, huge lack of vernacular language uh, content on social media. It's largely English dominated. And we're trying to change that. Again, the idea of having lots and lots of hyper local Facebook groups, yeah. groups means you can repackage the same content in yeah. many different languages. So, in answer to your question, Mr. Valinga, I'm all for going for local languages as much as possible. I think it's going to offer you the greatest return on investment and you're going to find really, really niche audiences. Uh, and that's becoming more and more important in 2017 and 2018. Um, so yeah, that's in answer to that question. Um, the next thing is, is identifying influencers. So Craig is in this conversation. He's a great influencer. But finding people that are passionate about a particular topic and saying, hey, can you share this video? That helps your reach. That helps you get yeah. more likes and onto your page. It's not about spamming people, but it's about really identifying what is the story about? What am I trying to say in it? What is the value system here? And does it align with that influencer or that person? Okay, cool. Uh, invites we've done, cross posts we've done, shares we've done. Point number four is replying to comments. When we are putting out a piece, where possible, if I just jump into uh, one of our stories, if I go into Yusuf Omar, uh, where possible below uh, the video, you have a good, highly engaged comment section. Facebook have spoken about uh, prioritizing in the algorithm videos that are well commented on, that people are talking about. So for us, it's so incredibly important to engage in that comment section, to answer people's questions. Where possible, I'm actually using video now to engage with them. I think it's an even more personal level of communication. Uh, but replying to comments, creating discussions in that comment section is what's going to create a lot of attention to your video. Uh, Facebook have said they're looking for quality time spent online. I think a lot of quality means depth to those comments and big uh, insights and uh, I, again, often we finish the video and like it's done. I think that in some ways uh, the story begins when that comment section starts and that often leads to more videos. Uh, if you are focusing on what's in that comment section, you are already in tune and listening to what the audience wants so that when you create content, it's in line with uh, things that they're already talking about. The next point Samir is going to address is uh, a, a controversial one in some respects, but a vital one. Facebook used to be like a buffet. Like, hey, here's 2 billion people, the world's biggest audience. Put up your videos and all you can eat audience, audience, audience reach. And then they slowly started prioritizing profiles on the timeline as opposed to publishers and pages. And now it's very much a pay to play landscape where if you want to reach new markets outside of the likes that you currently have on your page, and not every video you do is viral as a Chewbacca mask sort of. Uh, you need to effectively look at boosting, paying Facebook to target very specific uh, audiences. And Samir is going to show you some of our examples of boosting. Yeah, so I mean, I'll just kind of, if you guys haven't done a boost before, I'm going to choose one that we haven't boosted. Um, so, I mean, our strategy, we've, we've like 
I guess, gone back and forward. It's all about learning what works, what doesn't work. Um, I'm going to go here. Uh, but I would say when you're boosting, you want to kind of wait maybe 24 hours or so and see what your organic reach is and especially engagement. See how many shares you're getting. Um, see how many uh, likes, comments, how many reactions you're getting. And only the ones where, oops, um, only the ones where you see a good organic reach, those are the ones where you want to uh, boost. Okay. Oh. Why am I? I'm going to, okay, wait. I'm going to go and boost a post. So guys, just to clarify while she's doing that, what boosting is. Boosting means paying Facebook up from five to 10, up to hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars to boost your content to a specific audience. So you hit that little boost button uh, or you go through the managed uh, ads uh, platform and you're able to target very specific audiences. Okay, so you'll see at the bottom of, of one of your posts. Yes, you'll see at the bottom of one, your, one of your posts, you'll see a boost post option. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go into it. We'll just boost it just to show you guys. Um, okay, so here you can choose exactly what your target audience is. I'm gonna create a new audience. I'm gonna call this audience um underman diving okay um who am i boosting to oh the sorry the story is about diving in the underman islands about young people in india um quitting their jobs and leaving their families to go and pursue other careers and this specific one is around them going to do diving in the underman islands um so i'm going to boost to all men and women um, age group, I think I'm going to do like 14 to 35, which is basically from our, our previous videos. This is kind of our, our target audience. Um, where should we boost to? Okay. So here I can add a location. I'm going to add Underman. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm going to add Underman because. Oh, maybe Calcutta. Uh, maybe Calcutta. Okay. Is it a K? K-O-L. Okay, Kolkata, West Bengal. Uh, who else would be interested in this type of content? Okay, we'll just leave it there. Okay, I can then choose interests. Uh, I'm going to choose. And then you can see at the bottom here, every time you narrow it down, it's going to say how defined your audience size is and what that potential audience size is. Right now it's 7 million people, which is, I mean, we're, go we're going to add a little bit more uh, definity to that. Um, demographics, I'll say diving, scuba diving maybe. Okay, that's already uh, decreased it. Uh, what else should we do? Um, tourism, travel. Tourism. Yeah, I'm going to just leave it at, at these three things and you can see what works for you. Um, okay, so it says that my audience size is defined. Should I put you in frame? This is... Okay, just going to put me in frame. Sorry, you guys want to put you in frame? So, yeah. There we go. How do you make your decisions on what audience you can use, man? Okay, so for example, this piece, it was shot in the Underman Islands. And so people from there would probably be the probability of them sharing it and being um, uh, proud of their country and things like that and seeing how beautiful it is, they'd probably share it. Um, and then I boosted it to Calcutta, which is like the neighboring, the, near, the nearest um, part of India where people go, people go from Calcutta to Andaman Island. So that makes sense. Scuba diving, obviously it's about diving um, and people who are interested in tra travel and tourism. So uh, there's no real like recipe for how to target this, but I guess you just, the more you do, the more you learn from it. And yeah, do you have any other? Yeah, I think sometimes these things work in unusual ways. Like I work, uh, you can target down exact universities, exact schools. Uh, if we, for example, put interest and we put Paddy, uh, we'll start getting the guys who have done their PADI. Who have done their Paddy open water course, uh, employers, that's a great one, the top one. Um, so people who are employed by scuba diving companies will now get this video. 
Um, we're also talking about uh, sort of a very bohemian lifestyle. So if we put bohemian, we might get uh, a bohemian uh, culture. Uh, bohemianism is one of the options. And that again, cuts it down. If we're backpacking, uh, we might, or even if we put like a, an actual title of another organization that this audience might be watching, let's say Nat Geo or Vice, um, this will then tap into uh, the, those uh, audiences or uh, National Geographic it is. Uh, so yeah, if we just- But it's fine, it's already that the audience is- Still two and a half minutes. Still, still too big. Mm. Uh, so if I put National Geographic channel, uh, if I put Vice, these all help us uh, really target down to what we think is our audience. And now that uh, looks like quite a slow big audience, so we're but yeah, save. we're just going to do it. Um, and then you can choose how much you're going to budget for. I'm just going to choose five dollars. Um, and then the duration. So, so seven days. Okay, so it says one dollar a day. So I guess I can choose. Uh, what day is it today? I'll just choose till the 14th. Cool. And then you just, oops. I, oh, sorry, I need to do that. Okay. And then we're going to hit the boost button. And I'm going to hit the boost button. Cool. It's boosted. Well, it's gone to Facebook to approve the boost. How long does that take? Uh, it completely depends. We've had very varying experiences where Facebook have rejected it um, or they're sometimes very quick with it. Okay, cool. Guys, the next thing I want to talk to you about is perhaps the most important. It doesn't matter whether you boost or what you do with your content. If your content is not good, uh, you'll have a tough time getting an audience to watch it. I think good content, there's no sort of shortcuts for that. You can boost all you want. You can uh, do all the sort of growth hacks, but at the end of the day, if it's good, it's good. Nothing can take that away from you. Um, so an example of that that I want to share with you guys right now uh, is this video, the, the most viral video that I've ever produced on my own accounts. Uh, I was in a town of Butkal uh, and very, very, very conservative community uh, where effectively um, you've got a whole bunch of people in the south of India who completely cover um, themselves uh, with uh, a veil and their faces are covered. Uh, and this was unusual to me in India. Uh, so I went out and I shot a piece about it. Um, and it's sort of a real look at speaking to young women in that community. I'll play you guys a little bit of that video. Uh, this is that piece. Talking to these madrasas, talking to these schools where these uh, young girls are uh, sort of, yeah, where they live. And really it challenged a lot of my stereo what I, the stereotypes I might've come with, the prejudices I might've come with. Uh, they had many problems in society. Many of the girls weren't given access to social media, for example, but one of the problems that they didn't identify, one of the things that they didn't say was an issue was the veil, the face covering. Having said that, all of the events I went to their face, there was no girls there and it was a real struggle to get to speak to women. Um, and that's changed now, they've gotten a lot better. As you can see, we've got 2.1 million views on that video. It's done astronomically well. And again, I go back to this idea that there's no shortcut. Create good original content that nobody else has that's really unique, uh, such as this piece, which Office of Mobile Journals allows for, and it will show for itself. It's got 2.1 million views. It's got 2.7 thousand shares, uh, 5.1 thousand reactions. Uh, and really, those are the kind of metrics you're looking at. You're looking at the amount of shares. Having said that, I mean, the comment section has been absolute filth. There's been a lot of hate, a lot of... Uh, people sort of really challenging each other. But again, create content that gets people talking, create content that creates conversations and you will find your way onto many, many timelines. Uh, so yeah, this is the piece. Uh, Samir will drop a link to it in the comment section so you guys can check it out. Uh, that's been our five tips for uh, creating a huge audience on social media. I've hit 21, 22,000 likes. Uh, the next uh, sort of milestone will be 50,000. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, there will be more. So I'm going to be posting videos about all of these growth hacks inside of the TFJ now platform. Um, and there'll be videos, there'll be how to guides and things like that. So if you guys want to see more, then you can, I guess, 
join a course or subscribe in TFJ now. Doom, doom, yep. doom, doom. Thank you guys so much. I'm Samaya. Doom, doom, doom. Yusuf Omar. Yusuf. <laughs>